Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Pentiment. It's time to hand over the cake that we, I think it was a cake, that we went and picked up last episode and then go and make our way towards the Abbey to pretend, I mean very seriously consider, becoming a nun. Good to see you, Megalyn. We were able to stop by the Alvins. I have Hannah's picture here. Brett sends her best wishes. Perfect. Hannah will love this. Thank you, Magdalen. Just the little things, you know. When she was cheating on you with the miller. Uh, Hannah told me you asked my dad for advice once. No point daring it up, I suppose. Your dad's a stoic one, but he has his wisdoms. You know, we haven't always been good to each other, me and Hannah. But after the revolt, things had to change. I just find ways to show her I appreciate her now. But the golden hand will fall down without her. And she knows it. I want her to know that I know it too. I've kept you too long. Thank you again for the help, Magdalene. Until later, Nico. Okay, now off to... Off to become a nun, I guess. Oh, stripping down the mountains, winter will be here soon. And we have to wait until after Christmas for Father Thomas to help us translate the book. Hello, Gertrude. Would you like to go inside and wait for Mother Francisca now? Yes, I would. Well, Francisca, I'd like to introduce you to Magdalene Druckerin. The printer's daughter, yes. God bless you, Magdalene. Father Thomas told you told us of your father's condition, and we pray for his recovery daily. Uh, thank you, Abbas. Such is our duty to serve the Lord and the community that provides for us. Now, what is this about, Sister Gertrude? You know our holy rules. Why bring young Mr. Druckerin to me? Forgive me, Mother. Magdalene is searching for a place in the world and has contemplated the holy life. I thought observing the sisters might aid her in spiritual search. She has encouraged. She was encouraged by the idea. Uh, yeah, right. Ah, so you've decided to consider my offer, my offer after all. If God is calling you to the convent, I am more than willing to help you fulfill that divine cause. What brought this change on? Why are you interested in joining the Port Wares? Uh, worry that helping my father running the shop alone and finishing the mirror are too much for me. If I become a sister, I won't have to marry, which is far better than being stuck bearing kids for the rest of my life. I had a holy vision. Saint Sadia told me I was destined for higher things. Oh no, just h helping my father running the shop in the mural is just too much for me, you know? Magdalene, you should not abdicate your worldly duties for fear of the unknown. However, I agree that working on a printing shop and painting are not suitable duties for a woman. Thank God you have turned to us for help. This It's no wonder you have felt overburdened by all of this. Please come, I am happy to tell you more of our order. Just, my feeble body cannot handle it. I'm just a poor woman. Our small convent used to be part of the larger Curacao double monastery, as I'm sure you've been told by Sister Gertrude. However, the poor clares live far differently than, 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 than the Benedictines. That's the word. Uh, that once lived here. We believe that it's not ours to produce and live solely on the alms of the community of passing, as they see fit to give. Likewise, none of the sisters were here on any personal property. We share this convent as a gift from the church. We believe that the Lord called us into a life of poverty and service. Does such a life appeal to you, my Lord? No, it does not. 
I'm not entirely certain yet. I'd like to explore and look around, get a feel for the place. Meglin, you must not have understood me. We have deliberately closed ourselves off from the world. I will have a laywoman bothering the sisters from their duties or disturbing our room. However, I will allow Sister Suzanne to show you our duties. Please take your time. When you have f uh, finished, please come find me and we will discuss your decision to join. Partly, I thought she'd never finish. What? Truthfully, I'm not here to join the convent. I'm looking for references for a mural. I'm painting in the rat house. I'm going to take a look around. Where are we going first? Um, the convent has many parts. The kitchen, the... Laquarium? It's a weird way. Laquarium, yeah, that's, that's the word. The chapter house, the yard, the old workshops, though no one uses that old shed anymore. I'll leave it to you to decide where to go first. The aquarium on the other side. Here's the aquarium. Most of the Abbey's visitors come in here but aren't allowed to enter. We aren't allowed to go into the outside world either. Like Mother Francisca said, isolation is a part of our vows. Sister Gertrude once told me the old Benedictine sisters used to go into the town sometimes, even talk to mine on occasion. And I'm stuck here, staring at these walls for the rest of my life. Then I join the convent! <laughs> Doesn't seem like Sister Suzanne thinks much of her life here. Can't blame her. Even so, she doesn't seem to have the passion that Sister Gertrude and the others have. If she has her life here so much, maybe I should encourage her to leave the order. I mean, I should. Better to leave while she has a future ahead of her. After all, there are plenty young men in Bavaria who would make good husbands. Still, there may be some more reason she chose to stay. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Are you unhappy here, Sister Sen? I, uh, I don't know. My father promised me to the church as a baby. Ah, for fuck's sake. Some oath he swore when my mother struggled in their pregnancy. So there I was, dressed in... Uh, draped into the... Dropped into the poor clares. The summer I turned 70. And he took you in just like that? Nobody asked what you wanted? I'm sorry, no one should be forced into a life they don't want. We daughters are born to bear our family's legacy. Between our legs or on our backs, it doesn't matter. My father is... My family is devoted to the church. I've only been in the convent for two years, but I'm trying my best. I don't mind the prayers or the hours, and... I'm sure of my devotion to the Lord, but this is what I wanted. Since when did a woman ever get what she wanted without being punished? Thief couldn't even manage it. I understand I have more autonomy to go where I want, but I'm still bound by the expectations of marriage and home making. I remember the days of running around town. I wish I could have gotten married. I wanted to be a mother. Sometimes I get jealous of Sister Gertrude and... Even Sister Margareta. At least they got to see something of the outside world before they were 20. Uh, protected from the plague. Um, if you could do anything... Yeah, don't forget Matilda and Voisla. Let's plant the seed there. They used to be part of Gearsaw too. Oh yeah, them too. Thanks for listening, Magdalene. Anyway, let me show you the rest of the closer. Lead on. Very fucking sparse. Mr. Gertrude. This is the chapel where we gathered for mass and liturgy. It's the oldest part of the convent. And the most drafty. Hello again, Sister Gertrude. 
The sisters have done some minor retouches over the years, but it has re uh, represented the Abbey from its earlier days. Oh, there's a tower in the library. The cluster is still being constructed here. Yes, the tower was a bird tree long before the structure became a monastery. A freestanding defensive tower not built for permanent habitation. The duchy got to do to the Benedictine order after the Holy Roman Empire grew. They had no use for it as, as a keep. These walls have protected Tassin from attacks of spirit and steel for generations. Noble history, comparable to Aeneas' founding of Rome! Hmm, there's lighting here, too. God called Lady Sabine to lead our sisters and brothers in 1261. Lord Kirsau's castle was destroyed by fire in the year of the death of Emperor Frederick II. Only the tower remained. Well done, Magdalene. Yes, the uh, first lifts the... The first lifts the Abbey's founding date. What? The first lists the Abbey's founding date? Okay. The Lady Kirsau was actually the one who suggested the old castle be turned into a double monastery. We added the second shortly after the revolt. Mother Illuminata thought it would be fitting, even if the sisters would not hear some record of what occurred would remain. Kirsau is unique, a double monastery with two saints, one male and one female, to guard the town and abbey. So the foundation of the abbey was even older than the Holy Roman Empire. But it seems odd that the monastery really was a place meant for war and force. Fascinating to think, even before the Duke gifted it to the church, the fortifications were founded by St. Moritz. Uh, the abbey was here, yeah, the abbey was older than the HRE. Many things have been built and torn down on this land over generations. Who knows what else used to be here? You're right, sister. This mural will be a great reference for the, uh, the right house. And I'm glad to have helped. God bless you, Magdalene. Okay, what else can we see? This is Margaretta. This is the kitchen. There's not anything that, that interesting here. Sister Marie and Sister Isabeau, yes, that's the word, uh, take care of most of the kitchen duties, but everyone pitches in when they do. God bless you, Magdalene. How do you know my name? God bless you, sister. How goes the cooking? As well as the Lord builds it. My old fingers fumble from time to time, but it is my privilege to prepare supper for the other sisters. Uh, shouldn't someone else be helping you, sister? No, no, the Almighty has given me a gift. Just as God gave Paul a thorn in his side, so too did he give me the pains of age to strengthen my faith. Such things are a blessing when compared to the pains Jesus carried upon, Christ carried upon the cross. I don't believe the Lord wants us to suffer. Yeah, but didn't, didn't Christ die so we don't have to suffer necessarily? In the next life, yes, but even said... But even Christ said we would face hardships while we live on this earth. I have chosen to find meaning and devotion to the Lord through my hardship. Uh, glad for sharing your perspective with me, sister. You're most welcome, child. Bless you. Oh, bless you, child. Are you delivering... something? No, since I'm learning more about the convent. Uh, no. Uh, let's not tell her the truth. We don't know if we can trust her. 
I'm considering joining the convent, so Mother Francisca graciously allowed me to visit you here. Hallelujah, glory and praise be to God. You've brought such joy to me this day, child. I'm glad you liked it. I haven't actually joined yet, sister. You have a strong stomach. Perhaps you could help Sister Isabeau and me in the kitchens. I enjoy preparing meals for the sisters that nourish us, but I can never bring myself to butcher these animals. The Sister Isabeau has graciously taken on that task for me. We need sustenance, but I feel butchering any animal is wrong according to the rule of St. Francis. Mystic Friar and founder of the Franciscan Order, born in Assisi to wealthy parents, St. Francis was called to a life of poverty and preaching. With his followers, St. Clair, he helped found the Order of Poor Clares. To cause suffering to any living creature is a necessary and evil, even if granted, even if God granted Adam and Eve the meaning of the animals. The kitchen seems fairly simple. Is there anything here from the convent's founding days? No more than the structure itself, I'm afraid. The cookware needs replacing over the years. Though some nights a ghost appears to, to me by the cook fire. Lost spirit trapped between heaven and hell. Spooky. Sister Marie, not this again. Not to Magdalene, please. Wouldn't have been a ghost of one of the sisters from the founding of the convent, maybe even Saint Tassia. If it was, she has never said a word to me, though I felt I fell prostrate in prayer before her. The spirit, however it is, rolls up through the ground at vigils. Dawn and dusk are the hours when the boundaries between this world and the spiritual run weakest. You may be the newest arrivals here, but this convent is very old. Perhaps there was something Roman underneath this foundation centuries before. The spirit may seek to know the presence of God now that it rests on holy ground. A spirit in Carousel. Roman spirit might be a great addition to the moral. I really think this must have been something else, sister. It breaks my heart to think the spirit was crying out for help, trapped beyond heaven's reach. Why don't we keep going, Meglin? It's better not to get Sister Marie too upset. Of course. God bless you, sister. God bless you, child. Anything else over here? It's colder today. It's not much in the yard that could help you. I think anything that was here has long been covered in meats. All I know about this place is that the walls were added when the convent was built onto the monastery. Oh, God bless you, Sister Benedicta. Sister Suzanne, God bless you. Thick ice is hard. This ice is hard. Do I recognize you, Sister Benedicta? I think I've seen you in town once or twice. Yes, you have seen her. Sister Benedicta is the youngest of the sisters. Mother Francisca allows only one sister to deal with the townsfolk. Uh, Benedicta received the spiritual privilege. Burden, more like. I have to run around everywhere, gathering all the food and doing all the chores. I'd rather be inside where it's warm. What are you doing up in the convent, anyways? I'm considering joining the the poor Clares, actually. That's snooping. <laughs> mm, snooping. Oh, don't let me get in the way then. What an adventure! Actually, Sister Benedicta, I want to ask you some questions. Do you like being a nun? Oh yes, I don't mind at all. It's far quieter than home, and I don't have to share my bed with my siblings anymore. I like to help the older sisters, and I don't mind the chores, except when it's cold like this. One more question, Sister Benedicta. Have you ever seen any mysterious figures or ghosts lately? A ghost? Not Everything has been normal recently. No, everything has been normal recently. I haven't noticed anything odd. Is this about Sister Marie's ghost? I think it's Mauritius myself. 
Oh no. So there is a ghost in the abbey. Well, I, I haven't seen anything myself, but if there is a ghost, I'd like to think it's Mauritius. Don't tell Mother Francisca this, but I found an old book about Christian legends and hidden in the workshop. Ooh, secret book, can I have? It said a Roman commander named Mauritius con conquered Tassin, but the colony failed. Most of the town was empty until Christian refugees found the town hidden in the valley. It was a miracle. If this is a different retelling of St. Moritz's saving Tassin. Oh, maybe. I don't remember if the book mentioned any saints. The Latin was hard to read. Anyway, when Sister Marie said she saw a ghost, I thought it must be Mauritius trying to get us out. A Roman ghost couldn't be happy about his tower uh, being turned into an abbey, could he? What did you do with this book, sister? Oh well. I had it with me in the kitchen one day and I, well, accidentally laid the fire poker on it. For fuck's sake. Oh my god, it must be completely destroyed! I tried to fix it, but it's unreadable now. Sorry, Magdalene. For fuck's sake. Is there any book that didn't burn in this place? Book of we have gone on right on the rise. Yeah, I suppose it's best it's better that the book got some use before it was lost forever. Besides that story gives me ideas for the right house mural. Thanks for telling me about the book, sister. I won't tell Mother Francisca. God bless you, sister. Thanks, Blackdown. God bless you. The art studio. It's still a thing? You didn't close it off? Thought you didn't work. The workshop is covered in dust. Oh, okay. So you don't work. Yes, this was the Benedictine sisters' workshop. They used to make badges and art for pilgrims coming to see the hand of St. Moritz. It looks like everything was just left here after the fire. Nothing's been used in years. We can subsist on paintings and the poor clares don't produce goods for sale, so we have no reason to be in here. It allows us to find beauty in life. Even Christ said the Father clothe the lilies of the field in beauty. Because art is an essential to survival. Uh, yeah, let's go with the religious angle. I agree, but that's not the rule of the poor players. Mother Francisca considers an, it art an, a temptation into hedonism. Mother Francisca doesn't let us come in here unless to put something in storage. I've come in a few times and noticed some of the brushes have gone missing. Paint pots, too. Huh. Someone's been naughty. Think one of the sisters is secretly painting? Oh lord, no, we all live too close together in the con room for something like that to go unnoticed. In any case, I think it's sad the workshop is left like this. Truthfully, Magdalene, I don't think you should join the convent, even if that's not what you were here to do anyway. Gertrude talks about you, and you seem to love your art. Without it, you'd hate it here. Which valuable paint left to dry and crack on the pellets? Yeah, what a fucking thing. There's no parchment scrap here, it's different from the others. Ah, interesting. Looks like a scrap from a manuscript. There's something written in Latin, I'd imagine. The Mithraeum of Tassing uh, had been destroyed by a flood. Ooh, we're gonna find out about the. We're gonna find out about the bathhouse. Ooh. Mithraeum. That's the same word I saw in the Roman section of the mine. This might be the book Sister Benedicta found. I wonder why it would mention the Mithraeum. I 
no, it's not a word I've ever heard before. There's certainly nothing in the convent by that name. Well, note says the Mithraim was destroyed, so I suppose it doesn't matter much now. These old wedges are beautiful. I hope the pilgrims who bought them love them too. Well, you've seen the entire convent. There's not much here. What do you think of it? I understand the appeal. Um, yes, it seems like a life of drudgery. Yes, certain parts of our life here can be frustrating. It's been so long since I've spoken to anyone from outside the convent. I'm reminded of the life I once had. Now you have me thinking about whether or not I should remain with the sisters. I mean, at least join a different order. You clearly don't like being here. I think you should go. Okay, okay, so discussing Matilda in voice lab actually... Oh, for fuck's sake. You don't owe the sisters any. I do, though. The sisters have taken care of me, they love me, and I love them. I thought mentioning Voislav and Matilda would have convinced her to go out. Even if this life wasn't my choice, they accepted me. Who knows, maybe it will get better in time. Maybe. I'll try to help any way I can, even if it's just sneaking around to convince to around the convent wall to say hello. Really? That would be wonderful, so long as no one found out. Anyway, she... Uh, we should return to Mother Francisco before she suspects something. I learned a lot today. Thank you for following me around the convent. No, thank God, Magdalene. Today was... Thank you, Magdalene. Today has been more interesting than any I can remember in the Abbey. Oh, I, I keep trying to... to get these girls to... to not join the convent and they keep ignoring me. Poor then. Come, let's find Mother Francisca. She'll be wanting to hear what you thought of the place. Well, Magdalene, what's your assessment of the poor Clares? Is the good lord calling you to a life with his sister? I'm compelled. I think I prefer my books and printing. Uh... No, no, like, I, I haven't thought about my holy duty of providing children to a husband. I, I, I just can't give that up. Motherhood is a divine blessing, Madeline. Be careful with your sarcasm. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're doing, young lady. Our community is quite modest compared to the splendor of an old Benedictine house. Operating under the rule of a powerful abbot. I see why fewer women are drawn to the order these days. I will pray that you find your way, Magdalene. God bless you. Ah, Magdalene, how did your little expedition go? Well, in Lord of Bore Claire's not as much about the history of the Abbey as I wanted. My sister, there is something I don't understand. The Abbey was so prosperous. Why didn't the monks rebuild it after the fire? What a task that would do, or that would be. The chapel was beautiful, the stained glass always caught my eye in the mornings. There was a great deal of anger and sadness in Tassing that night. The abbot felt the brothers and sisters were no longer welcome in Tassing and moved on. In truth, the Abbey the Abbey's dissolution was inevitable. Tirsa was running out of money and patrons. The riot and fire were simply a particularly awful and painful way to run the monastery. Did anything survive the fire? Some of the buildings are intact, but all are tel terribly overgrown. I haven't dared forage in the rubble. I doubt you find anything of help for your mural inside other than charred wood and parchment. It might still be worth taking a look if I'm careful. 
I worry after you sometimes, my one. I really do. Thank you for all your help, Sister Gertrude. You are most welcome, Magdalene. God bless you. Okay, anything else we can explore over here? That was... I don't know, I did learn more about the founding of Kyrsau. And that illustration from the manuscript, uh, Mithraim, it was like the one in the mine. This is part of the history of the Abbey, of Tassin. It must be written down somewhere. If only the, ri the library hadn't burned down with everything in it. The ruins are right there, maybe not everything was destroyed. But that is going to have to be left for next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, I have been Pope. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. The head of Saint Moritz, the poor players, take care of it now. I will, s and as I was saying, I will see you all next time.